shout out to all of you guys that have a small business and do this from your home because even though it's fun, it's a lot of work. One black large float. Tumbler, it goes with that too. If you got just a hat, he has a box just for that order. If you got a hat or something else and something else, then your hat goes in here in another box with the other stuff. And then if you had a tumbler, he'd be wrapping it all. Honestly, other's a king. Like this baby is growing by the day now. I feel like the smaller, the classier and the bigger. Well, you already know the rest of that saying. I always knew in my heart that if I ever had a baby one day, that, and obviously all of our doctors, our ultrasound tech, everybody knows not to spill the beans and they know that our baby is a surprise gender. So. <laughs> then just got home from work and we are officially packing our very first order shout out to rachel you're a real one we love you so much are you keeping us company are you gonna ship our orders with us <laughs> about to clock in. <laughs> thank you so much to all of you guys for all of the support today we have so many orders to start packing and fulfilling right now so we gotta get to work mama for a little over an hour now and honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm having a lot of fun but eldon is doing all the technical <laughs> stuff and we were having problems with shopify so side eye to shopify causing us some problems eldon had to chat with their back end for like 30 minutes huh yeah, for some so stuff. yeah we're trying to figure that part out but i think eldon has a solution while we are waiting for them to get back to us so that sucks because we want to get your guys orders out asap i'll definitely have to keep you guys posted on our progress but i'm having a lot of fun i know the shopify thing was a little frustrating for eldon but thank god he's handling that because I love being able to like pull your guys orders and pack them. Shout out to all of you guys that have a small business and do this from your home because even though it's fun, it's a lot of work. And not only that, <laughs> doing it prego with a baby inside, she be <laughs> getting exhausted. But thank God for Eldon because every time I drop something, he'll like pick it up for me. I mean, I still can, but you know, I just gotta like <laughs> yeah, I have to get down and then I get like all out of breath, but we're gonna continue packing some more orders and then I'll keep you guys posted on how everything goes. <laughs> God, I just have to give a shout out to all of our OGs. You guys are real ones. I recognize this girl, I think Ayati, I think that's how you say it. She ordered holiday hoodies when we launched those a few years back. So I had to write her a quick little card, but I love you guys so much. Just took a quick cooking break. Eldon made himself some vegan burgers and I threw down on this pasta. I put like little potato cubes. She cheesy and saucy. Here is my finished plate oh my god it looks so freaking good and y'all know i love me my arugula so i just threw a little on top for some 
decor. And then I have a little ginger beer that Eldon got for me. It's so tiny, I wish it was bigger. Oh, and the crunchies on top is toasted panko breadcrumbs. You can see the potatoes and everything in here. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. One black large loft. The tumbler, it goes with that too. We are clocked back in. It is almost 11 p.m. and I would say we're a quarter will be done. No, almost. We're like a almost third. A third? Isn't a third a quarter? No. A third is three parts, a quarter is four parts. Okay. So according to Eldon's calculations, a third. I don't know if we're gonna finish tonight. You think so? If you kick that booty in overdrive and put the baby to work also. <laughs> well, the baby's working. We literally have boxes in a box in a box. So these are our hat boxes. And then we have... Wait, what are those other cardboard boxes for? The small ones. If it's just a hat. Oh, just a hat? Yeah. Eldon has his whole system. Like... I gotta give it to him. If you got just a hat, he has a box just for that order. If you got a hat or something else and something else, then your hat goes in here in another box with the other stuff. And then if you had a tumbler, he'd be wrapping it all. Honestly, other's a king. Well, we're trying to do our best with the resources and time that we have. Yeah. If we had more time, I feel like we would have things more uniform. Like, don't mind how the stickers are packaged. We did our best, okay? <laughs> we wanted them to be in like a sticker pack, but we didn't get that far. So we're saving plastic and they're just coming. You'll see how you get them. <laughs> and we also ordered something from Amazon that didn't come in time. Oh, so yeah. We wanted to still ship it out. He ordered cardboard, um, what do you call it? Like cards? Um, yeah, like stock. Stock cards to like protect the stickers in the shipment. And those didn't come on time and we don't want to wait for them. We'd rather get your guys' orders out immediately. So that's why we had to... MacGyver it and hopefully all of your products come safe and sound and not bent. We still have a lot to go so I'll check back in later. <laughs> Okay, update, it is almost three o'clock in the morning and we are so beyond exhausted. My back is literally falling off and we have to be up super early tomorrow morning to load these up in the truck. We might have to take two cars actually, but this is as much as we got done tonight. Tomorrow after Eldon gets off work, we will resume and finish packing the rest of the orders. Hopefully we can finish by tomorrow night. Update, it is, oh, midnight on the dot. Shipping day two and we are wrapping up our last order for the night. We are so exhausted, that's why I didn't vlog it all earlier. We just came straight home and got to packing orders, but this is a very special moment for us because this is our very last tumbler. So shout out to Maria. I wrote her a little card and I threw in some stickers because this is so special and it means so much to us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you love your tumbler. Howdy y'all. I'm just getting ready right now because I'm actually about to film a sponsorship and I want to look presentable, but I didn't feel like doing like a full beat or anything. So I'm just doing like a little slit bun moment with my five minute glam, like literally barely anything. It is honestly so hot nowadays that I can't even get myself to do a full face but i honestly have missed doing my makeup like beat to capacity so i think tomorrow 
I'll sit down and get fully ready because we're going to be filming husband rates my baby shower outfits tomorrow and I'm really excited for that one and because I'm trying on like my outfits I want to see like what the vibe is I feel like I have to be like fully ready but my energy nowadays like to get to that point I really have to like motivate myself I'm already out of breath so y'all know how it is I always have to check to make sure it looks good on the sides and the back because sometimes these buns be coming out wonky per. I always get stuck on deciding what size hoop to wear. I feel like the smaller, the classier and the bigger well, you already know the rest of that saying. I wanted to come on and catch up with you guys and say thank you so, so much for all the love and support you guys shown us on our factory sea launch. I can't believe it's finally here. And for the most part, everything went pretty smoothly. I mean, you know, we have trials and errors and we definitely learn from this whole experience. And if we were to do it again, it will go like even smoother because now we have a whole system down. And um, in the midst of all the craziness, we were so busy, but I was honestly having so much fun throughout the whole experience and the whole process. And I could definitely see Eldon and I running a business from home. I think, you know, with the baby on the way, we'll have to see how that goes. Obviously working from home and being full-time parents, but we're definitely gonna have to get in a routine with the baby once the baby is here first before we figure out whether we want to keep doing it ourselves from home or um, you know outsource it with like a shipping company. But at the same time, like we now are gonna have a nursery, so we're not gonna have our uh, stock room, if you will. So I don't know where the future goes with. Um, the fulfillment part it ended up taking us like two full nights like all night long to get all of the mass orders out and then we were shipping out throughout the week like the few last orders but we are sold out of everything but the hats we have a few hats left they're still live on the website I'll link it down below if you guys uh, want to pick up a snapback and then obviously we have stickers we have so much stickers. We ordered a ton of those. I feel like I want to keep that same sticker pack like as a staple on the website or like for every drop, but then release new designs and like new stickers. But I don't know yet. We're just kind of going with the flow. I loved bringing you guys along the whole process too behind the scenes and just kind of showing you how we pack the orders. And obviously when it comes down to like packaging, Eldon spent a lot more money on the packaging because he wanted to make sure like all the shipping was you know protected and nothing gets crushed but i feel like the next time maybe we'll have a better system as far as like how we're packing um the products in like what boxes and cardboards and all of that and i wrote what felt like hundreds of cards like i wrote so many personal notes and it's obviously impossible for me to write a note for every single order because it obviously takes a lot of time we just wanted to get everything packed and shipped out as fast as possible so that you guys get all of your orders like immediately but i still tried to write as many cards as i could so i'm so sorry if you didn't get one but we love each and every one of you and it was honestly so surreal seeing each of your names on each order and every time i would slap the label on your package i would say like thank you sarah thank you maria thank you jessica and i would say it out loud because even though you guys can't hear me obviously i just it means so much to me and we are so so grateful for all of your support so thank you again and i know a lot of you guys didn't get your hands on some of the items the teas sold out so quickly it was like right under an hour where we were completely sold out both the black and the white and i know so many of you guys were super bummed i have so many dms asking us to restock them so we did think about it. I'm not too sure if we're going to, but I don't know, we're in the works of talking about it right now. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated with that. I'm just so grateful and super happy that you guys love the designs. And even though it's an older design from a few years ago where 
I look completely different. I really felt the love and I am just so thankful. So um, yeah, we will definitely keep you guys updated on the whole Factory C journey and what's coming next. But yeah, as far as like a life and pregnancy update, I am getting so big like this baby is growing by the day now and it's crazy because everybody would always tell me like you're so tiny you're so small all the way up to like six months and then out of nowhere boom like this baby is just growing so fast now and i feel big to say the least <laughs> but we are officially almost eight months now we're like a week away a little more than a week away from eight months and it's crazy because Honestly, time has been flying and every single day that we get closer, I'm super, super excited to meet my baby and obviously find out what he or she is. But at the same time, I'm so nervous because I'm super, super scared for the delivery and I pray for a safe and smooth and quick delivery, but you just never know you know, what's gonna go down. So that part gives me extreme anxiety. But Eldon and I are going to go tour the hospital soon and maybe do some classes. If you guys have any recommendations for us, like obviously we're first time parents. I don't know what classes we should do. I definitely wanna do like the medical ones, like CPR and stuff. Our hospital offers a bunch of different um, courses and classes, so I don't know which ones we want to sign up for, but a lot of people said to do the breathing one, especially if I am trying to go all natural, but that is the plan for right now, but we'll see what happens the day of. Like, I really want to be strong and not do an epidural, but at the same time, I'm not superwoman and I'm not against it. So if um, I need it in the moment, I'm going to get it, but at the same time, I'm trying my hardest to do completely natural and without. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I always knew in my heart that if I ever had a baby one day, that I would be doing a water birth, not at home, but like at a hospital or a water birthing center. Um, but there is none in my area, unfortunately. And also my OBG is like, I don't know, not really for it. Like she just said, definitely not at a birthing center either. She said because they're like midwives there and they're not doctors. So she said a lot of her patients are either dying on their way to the hospital from birthing centers or already like gone, which is so scary. So she really recommended me not to do a birthing center. And um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna stick with the hospital. And I'm sad because I've always known that I would be doing a water birth. I've watched so many different moms talk about their experience like on YouTube and stuff and everyone says they would do it over and over with every baby and it was just so much more of a calming and peaceful experience for them. So I am sad that I won't be doing that. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, I could do it at home, but absolutely not, girl. Like that's just, that's too crazy, <laughs> especially for my first. Um, so yeah, I'm, just really anxious about the day and it's coming up so soon like i can't even believe it um but yeah that's pretty much the update of where we're at and since my morning sickness subsided um in like five and a half months i've definitely been feeling so much better obviously like throwing up every day is just miserable but the nausea has been kind of coming back here and there, which really sucks. I haven't like thrown up yet, but I heard that that definitely does come back in the third trimester. Um, so I'm just hoping it doesn't because, oh my God, throwing up is literally like my biggest nightmare. Like I just, I hate it so, so, so much. Um, but yeah, overall I'm feeling good. Just tired, exhausted, and um, always winded. You guys already know. <laughs> but we are so excited for baby to come and we still have so much left to do. Like the baby shower is coming up. We're still doing the nursery transformation, which we thought was gonna be done by now, but it actually ended up being pushed back till August. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. And um, yeah, as far as like cravings and stuff, I really haven't had any cravings. Like since I last mentioned my Slurpee uh, obsession phase, I don't know if it's just cause it's summer, it's hot, but like 
that's the only thing that I really crave is like slushy slurpy it's like ugh, I could go for one literally right now like I'm about to tell them we should go <laughs> but um yeah oh and how could I forget oh my gosh so we've done a few 3d ultrasounds um in our past appointments but now that baby is like pretty much fully I guess developed you could really see uh all the features and oh my god it's so cute so i'm gonna show you guys some of the images and obviously all of our doctors our ultrasound tech everybody knows not to spill the beans and they know that our baby is a surprise gender so they don't ever mention anything and then we obviously tell them like hey let us know when to look away but they know like they tell us when to like close our eyes or look away if they're like going in the downstairs area to just make sure everything's good so um we haven't seen it <laughs> we don't know what it is but uh yeah it's funny because some of the 3d pictures look more like a girl and then some of them look more like a boy so let me know what you guys think uh it looks like and we'll all find out pretty soon together <laughs> so this is the physical printout that they gave us and i'm sad because they don't usually do like physical printouts and they only did this one for us and out of my entire pregnancy i only have our very very first ultrasound from the first appointment from the obg and then this one but we do get all digital copies so i can just make um prints myself because i definitely want to make like a baby scrapbook album but this you can't really see very well. So I'm going to attach all the digital photos so you guys can see because it is so cute. That is literally a baby Elden right there. 